Welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. You know, I don't know why I spent a lot of time uh, trying to get energy back in the, at the end of the last one, because we, we're we're going back up to the surface. To the surface world? Yes. But That's kind of a straight shot to the surface, really. Just head up this elevator here. I might know where we're going. Where do you think we're going? We are... let's see. We beat Spore Spawn. Yes. We beat Crocomire. Yes. We have power bombs. Yes. Which means we're probably heading towards the wrecked ship. You might be right. Because if we actually go back to the surface, we have the ability to take a right. And that's the way to the wrecked ship. It's been a hot minute <laughs> since I've played this myself. But I did just recently watch a speedrun, so hopefully that knowledge will come with me in this playthrough. Okay, here and there. I do want to head back to the ship to get all my stuff back. A grand refill, yeah. Damn it. Oh. Now, come on, come on. You can run it. You can run it. All right, all right, we'll run it. Okay, here we go. Limber up them legs. Here, this is good enough. And... Right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, we're here. All right. Do you think Samus sprints to the door when her Amazon delivery comes in? They hear she hears the knocking. She's in the mailbox in her morph, in her morph ball form. <laughs> That's actually a pretty decent tally of how much we have. Yep, so far so good. Okay, time to start climbing. <laughs> well, it's not really climbing, it's, you know, just head over to the right, I guess. Samus running to the store for incredible deals. <laughs> I heard there was 50% off these acorns. 50% really comes in. Pff, get me those acorns! <laughs> I don't know why acorns were the first thing to come to mind. <laughs> acorns are good. Okay. I, who knows, maybe the, the the next big MacGuffin in the Metroid universe is going to be uh, space <laughs> acorns. Or maybe it's those power acorns from uh, Link's Awakening. Space acorns! They, they can feed anything in the universe! Or end all life! It's, it's, it's a coin flip. It, it just depends on who has the most acorns, I yeah. guess. Yeah! Now, I actually love, there's a shortcut in this room. Damn it! Nah. If you do the speed booster and shine spark, through the door, uh -huh. you get all the way to the end. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. This sounds like a great idea. I'm just throwing it out there. This sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna do it legitimately, though. Because <laughs> I'm a real gamer. This is UDJ's tool-assisted slow run. <laughs> tool-assisted. Which tools? My two hands! Hey! Who's got two thumbs and is playing Super Metroid the real way? Who's got two thumbs, eight fingers, and an intense hatred for the grapple beam in Metroid games? <laughs> This, this guy, guy right here! Uh, times ten! Yeah. Times ten! <laughs> it's cool as you can grab one of these things, though, which, you know, this is probably the only time we'll ever get to use this practically. Yeah, yeah I, be I believe this is another... Oh, another room that benefits from either shine sparking or... I think taking off the high jump boost makes some of these jumps easier. Yeah, well, right now I benefit from you shutting up! I'm just telling the people. I know, I know, but I'm not very good, okay? Look at me. I think that I can use this save station, but the power's not even fucking on. Look, I wasn't insulting your ability as a player. I know you weren't insulting. I'm just really defensive about it. If I... If I didn't, you know, look at a Resident Evil 4 speedrun, I would feel so <laughs> inadequate. <laughs> it's like, wow, this guy's already done with the game in an hour and a half? I must suck. I'm gonna go back to playing it casually for like the 50th time in my lifespan. Any baby could have figured out that. <laughs> uh, you gotta clip through there by jiggling back and forth a little bit and relying on RNG. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, these chads in the speedrunning community going through here and oh, what's that? Eyeball door? You can defeat him in one super missile? <laughs> I mean, how do you figure that out? You'd be a Chad, that's See, see that's why I, I can't play this game too well, because there's not too much story to it. It's all about, uh, d just beat the four bosses and find whatever you can, beat as quickly as possible. Uh-huh. 
And it's just... Why do you need story? Why do I need story? Well, I'll tell you why I need story, because I need story to stay invested. Why don't you just play Metroid's games got a really good fun. story. Why don't you just play games to have fun? The story is fun. Well, I mean, it's not necessary. It's necessary to, to help me have fun, though. I will say, the only story this game has is at the beginning and at the end. <laughs> and then and, and, and like, and like, maybe a couple of uh, that, sprinkles yeah, in the middle. Yeah, a couple sprinkles. You know, it still makes a really good cupcake, but you wish you had chocolate chips. Shoot Fantoon in the eye. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh yeah, th th this is the best cupcake we had back in the day. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm eating all these new cupcakes that have like, mm. you know, glittery frosting. Oh. And, they've, and they've got like, you know, little little uh, rings you know, put in them. It's made of funfetti. Yeah, it's made of funfetti. And they got like a, like a swirl kind of muffin now. These are the kinds of muffins I like now. <laughs> but everyone just keeps going back to these old ones. The, the, the ones that that just got the regular buttercream. It's really nice ice icing yeah. and all that. I can I, I, I really enjoy the icing, but it's just... I like I like the newer kind, and then there's some people that are like oh, I like the original cupcakes where it's just where it's just cornbread, <laughs> cornbread uh, cupcakes with icing on it. Ew. Yeah, hmm. no, no icing, just just cornbread. So fun thing about Fantoon is he likes cornbread. Well, he he loves cornbread, which means he's a goddamn anarchist. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, you can actually change this fight depending on what you have equipped. If you actually turn Ice Beam off, his pattern changes. If really? You, if you turn off the Spazer, his pattern changes. Are you kidding? You can actually kill him faster without the Ice Beam. And b because he stays on screen longer. His pattern will either go slow, medium, or fast. And turning off the Ice Beam, I think, turns him on fast pattern all the time. And that's how you get through this fight, like, immediately. Which means that I'm buffing through this fight like a Chad, right? You are being a Chadette right now. Chadette, I'll take it. You are doing very well against Fantoon, which I'm guessing it's your first time in a heck of a long time, right? This is the second time I've ever faced him, because All the right. first time I fought Fantoon was when I got it for the Wii Virtual Console, oh. experiencing the game for the first time, essentially. You're about to fucking die. And then I get here, and I'm like, well, I'm I'm screwed. I can't do anything here. And then I never played again because I was I was trapped. I thought I thought thinking from my old Metroid days that I just took the wrong route and I messed up. But it turns out there is no real set route. Ah, not entirely anyway. Oh oh oh! Got him. This There's, is fast right, form. Right, come, on, this come, is fast on, come on 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 Again, or something. I do like the panic missiles. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it. How can, fine. How can Samus have no personality when she has so much personality to play her, play her themselves? <laughs> yeah, I can see whole, all of her personality as I see the arm cannon go... <laughs> hey, good job beating Fan 2. For the first time... Two bosses out of four. Mode 7. <laughs> Alright, who are the four bosses? I know it's Ridley, I know it's Crane. You got Dragon, Dragon, and Ridley. And Ridley. I, I said Ridley. Oh, sorry. Uh, and Fantoon here. Uh, Fantoon here. Craig. Yeah. I said Craig. Uh, what about Ridley? R I said Ridley! Oh, did you? Yes! What about Fantoon? I just I just said him last. Okay. Then, uh... Uh, Krakomar? Is he one of the lords? No. No, it is... Fantoon, Dragon, Ridley, Crane. I don't know why I keep calling them lords. It's just, I, you know, Dark Souls the 3. The lords of Dark Souls 3. The, the, entire, the, the entire thing about Dark Souls 3 is to go into this labyrinth and d defeat the four lords and then defeat the final boss at the end. That's what this is. Go forth in this barren wasteland of a planet, defeat the four lords, and then go back and beat the final boss. Look, I don't see Super Metroid being beaten by binary anytime soon, okay? You can't call this Dark Souls. Has somebody beaten that? Don't give me that look. Has somebody beaten this with binary? I'm sure it's possible. They've beaten Dark Souls 3 with binary. Which is just hilarious. How does somebody... First of all, how does somebody come up with that idea? And second of all, how do they execute it? We're not engineers. We don't have that mindset. No. We're gamers. Kind of stupid. And smart and Chad-like. Hmm. <laughs> Stupid Fantoon being a virgin over here. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. I actually do like the aesthetic of the wreck ship. I do have an SRAM editor, apparently, so if you want to beat Super Metroid in binary, I think it's a matter of no one's tried it yet. I'm sure you could. I'm not gonna try that. Like, I consider myself semi-decent at Super Metroid. No way. Well, I mean, somebody made a randomizer 
for Super Metroid and A Link to the Past to be combined to be played at the same time. It's fantastic. I, yeah, I don't think uh, ways that Super Metroid is beaten is where its longevity is from. I think it's just it's all about skill. It's 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 all about uh, the the openness. Hmm. Although trying to wall jump in binary would probably drive a normal person insane. Yeah, maybe. And it would make a Metroid speedrunner go, oh, okay. Well, the thing about wall jumping is that it's difficult until you figure it out and you realize the pattern. Like, oh, I just do that. All right. Is that what happened during this series? Is you had your coming to Jesus moment or your your coming to Chozo moment where you figured out how to do wall jumps consistently? Semi consistently. I, like like I know the pattern. Like if I say to do a wall jump, you have to spin into the wall mm -hmm. and then and then press the other direction and then press jump. Correct. That's how it goes. And you know if you have a wall jump that doesn't make any sense, then mm -hmm. people are it's like yep that's how you do it. Yep. She, she does like this little uh, kind of cross animation from from shifting over. Yeah. She's kicking off of it. You can you can tell. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of funny how it's been in every single Metroid game ever. Except for Prime, except, except for Prime, of course. <laughs> you don't want to try wall jumping during Metroid Prime? Make yourself sick? <sighs> she could do the actual spin like she does in the actual game. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hold on. I just got back from playing Metroid Prime. I'm sorry, guys. I I, I need to take a, an L on this one. No, better yet, in VR. God! <laughs> okay, can, can I bitch about VR? BR. Can I bitch about VR for a second? Sure. I've been kind of in the market. That was one second. For... Okay. You may. You are allowed additional time. Continue. Oh, thank you. Uh, so VR headsets. Mm. Expensive toys. Yes. Just like most gaming consoles. I do. I feel to see the practicality so far, but. Mm. Did you know there is actually exclusivity for VR headsets? Exclu. Wait, what? For games. You mean like depending on what kind of VR headset you have? You can play a specific you game. A specific there is game. actually gatekeeping. They, it, they treat it like an actual console. The only reason I'm bitching about this is because Valve's Index is the best one on the market. It is the most consistent. It has it, it has the ability to make it more comfortable. Like it comes with a face vent, for well, example. They don't make games. They don't work on their storefront. They got to work on something. So I guess VR is what they're gonna work on. And they have the ability to like, all I wanna do is play Beat Saber. And I can get the Valve Index, the best one on the market, and be like, okay, cool, we're in the business, we're in there. And then Resident Evil 4 VR comes out. <laughs> it's for the Oculus only. Knowing Resident Evil 4. It'll go to every <laughs> Not for long, not for long. Yeah, and that was the conclusion I came to because I immediately went to the internet and was like, hey, can I play uh, Resident Evil 4 VR on Index? No. <laughs> you can play it for the Oculus Quest 2! Long live Facebook! And then I realized, oh fuck, it's Resident Evil 4. It's not going to stay exclusive for us. No way. There's no some, way. No F and Y. It's, 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 it's going to be on, like, fucking... <laughs> It'll be on my calculator by the end of the year. It'll be on like, you know, Kwai Chung VR system <laughs> headset. You know, the, the, you know, the $30 VR headset that breaks in a matter of days. <laughs> by the way, I gotta, I gotta throw shade at Facebook. The Oculus Quest is the second most ex uh, least expensive VR headset out there. And nobody likes it. Why not? Not that I care about VR headsets, so I don't know what people have been saying. Let, let me... This one. This one's interesting. You gotta ride these things to get a mi the missile up top. Yes, I do like this one. Uh, the... It's all about comfort for me when it comes to scoping out a VR headset, because if I'm gonna be wearing that thing on my face, I better be comfortable. No! Fuck! Just Come as long on. as you don't fall okay. all the way down. Okay, okay. You'll be fine. Yeah, if you fall the way down, the... the, the it, it's like messed up. Mm -hmm. The pattern's messed up and you have to leave the room and come back, basically. Correct. Anyway. But yeah, it's... The the little, like, hoops on sticks that you have to hold. Uh, yeah. I, I don't like those. When I look at the index, they basically, like, mold to your hand. So you have more control. And I was like, okay. 
I think I'd rather have that. It's either that, or I have both of the controllers mixed up in my mind, and I just insulted the index. By the way, wait until VR is cheap, everybody. No, oh, no, 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 no. Good job. Nice save. VR just feels like a really expensive way for me to play games in a more cumbersome fashion. I don't know, seeing everything go one-to-one -one with your hand and everything, that's actually pretty cool. It's all about control, Yeah, I man. guess, I guess, but the, the novelty will wear off in a matter of minutes. I don't know. Half-Life Alex has kind of won me over on VR. By the way, Steam has an actual app that lets you know if your PC can run the uh, Steam Index. Yeah, I, I tried doing that, and uh, it just laughed at me. Nowhere it, close. It, 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 it sent, like, a whole bunch of laughing emojis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're like, oh, better not send too much, otherwise you won't be able to run it all. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. I'm, I'm not doing this right. Hang on. Sick. <laughs> Fucking... Yeah, you oh, can... No. Oh, I, I completely messed this. I, I gobbled and gooked this crap up. Honestly, had you just kept running, you would have survived. Yeah, had you... Shut up! We want to do... I'm sorry. But <laughs> it's, it's, <right. laughs> it's been It's been a hot minute since I've had this superiority over a game we've been talking over. Mwahaha! <laughs> <laughs> I know you mean well, I'm just defensive and angry about it! <laughs> The game didn't let me win! <laughs> I'm trying to have fun, I know I'm not doing good, and I'm trying to play it off like I'm really angry about it, so that way it's, there's a joke out of it! Look, now shut up! My SNES Mini, my rules, okay? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, good job. Here's a cutscene. Oh, jeez, not you. I know where to put this shit. Hang on, I got a place. Just, just take it over here. Uh, I gotta go down to the basement. Hang on, just one second. Uh, where did I put the down? Ah, here it is. Just, uh, step down here a little bit. Uh, doop, 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 doop. This reminds doop. me of the ball Larry got me earlier this week. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here you go. This is crazy. Here you go, little ball. Donk, donk. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Birdman. Oh, jeez, it's getting away. Oh, jeez, oh, there goes the ball. Yeah, I don't want to miss with that no more. Just like the last one. Metroid Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, that there Ridley there left oh, another baddie. <laughs> oh, that there Ridley, he doesn't seem like a good dude. <laughs> that's, that, that's like late game, Samus. Yeah. I would love if these things had voices. Wait, no, no! <laughs> I can only walk forward. Samus, what are you doing? It kind of reminds me of this uh, guy I watch on YouTube sometimes. He's called the Lonely Goomba. You heard of him? I think I have. Yeah. He's, he's, he's just, you know, you know, typical anime. You know, it's like, talking about video games, I'm kind of thing, you know. Hmm? Fun stuff. Ooh, it's Shine Spark. Well, uh, his, his shtick is that he's a lonely Goomba stuck between two pipes. And he can't escape, so hey, might as well play games, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea for a show. And what a no! great fuck of a fucking, fucking, fucking. Uh. Do it again. Yeah, okay. Do it all again. Right, all right, okay. Do it again. Uh, oh, fucking. Shine uh, spark it. Oh, fucking. All right. Woo! All right. Got that. Good. All right. Now, short here. jump. All right. Okay. Short, short jump. jump. Fucking. <laughs> <clears throat> Surprisingly, that's- ah! <laughs> You're gonna kill yourself. To make matters worse, I'm gonna run out of energy to shine spark with, and now I j I'm just- Rewind. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah. Just get good, forehead. <laughs> get, get good- Damn it, damn it, damn it! <laughs> get good forehead? Okay. Now, stop. And uh, there. Right good. there. Perfect. Short jump. Alright, short jump. Short jump. Yep. There! Hey! hey. Reserve tank! It's almost like I could have done it all along. <laughs> I'm a real Samus now! I'm a real Metroid. I am an ultimate warrior. I'm a big girl now! I'm a Metroid now. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, well. Hey. Here soon. Give it some time. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are the odds that Samus will actually become a Metroid? I mean, because then we'd have to let people know that Metroid can crawl. 
Gotta get in a bottle. Oh, that, that is a good question. Why can't Samus crawl? God, I don't know. Crawling wasn't invented until 2004 on the Game Boy Advance. Because it's undignified for a Chozo Warrior. Hey, gravity suit now! Jump around! Nice purple shape! We're gonna, have the, we're gonna have the rest of the series. Yeah, purple. I believe you have a tad more resistance. You can go through water like it's nothing. You can also go through lava like it's nothing. Certain lava. Certain lava. There's there some lava just you. Ooh, too dang hot. Skull to the earth right there. There's, the, there's, there's some lava in Ridley's layer that's just, you know, oh, he ain't getting in that one. No way. Nah. That, that, that's not that's not lava. That's acid. That's acidic water. Yeah, we can't boiling go. sulfuric acid. Can't go through acid. Well, now that we can just jump around like we just don't care, should we finish up the wrecked ship? That's what we're doing. Yes. Oh god. Yeah. The grapple beam. But what we don't have is the space jump, which would be nice. No! You can still salvage it. Anger! Salvage it! Injury! Yes! There we go. Salvaged! Alright. I'd, I'd like it if every time just some small minor misdemeanor happened, I'd just hear a quack. In this case, it'd be like a live duck pond. <laughs> Quick, throw the crumbs to all the ducks. Yeah. Well, let's save in case my 97 energy gets a lot lower and goes to zero in this exposition we're doing here, yeah? You'll be fine. I, I, I hope we will. This right here, honestly, hardest part of Super Metroid, no doubt. Really? I mean... Re really? This part? As soon as you get the gravity suit, you're basically set. You don't have to worry about anything else. Yeah, I think I, I think when I, when I get the space job, that's when everything's all set. So, something fun about this room, besides the fact that it has big death hurdy spikes? Uh-huh, yeah, I'm noticing. Super Metroid Impossible, do you know what that is? Yes. It this fascinates me and amuses me to no end. This room wasn't changed. I bet not. It's just all hurdy spikes all the time. I think they do slightly more damage. Because this, this was a ROM hack made in 2006 or yep. something. So the only cool idea they had for making it harder was add more hurdy spikes. That, that didn't really fuck up on the time. Yeah. Metroid. That didn't never give you the various suit until way at the end. You get the various suit, no joke, after beating Ridley. Yeah, which means you're constantly taking damage from the hot place that he is in. Uh-huh. Yeah, Super Metroid Impossible. It's impossible. How many people, how many people have beaten it? Like, what, three? Two. It's still two? Possibly more. That's a, that's a number I heard from 2020. I, th I think, I think they've, uh done something. Cool. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. You just about died right there. Uh, oh, you okay. just about died okay. right there. All right, all right. Hey, it, it, you know, hey, yeah. don't worry about it too much. We're on uh -huh. our way to an E-Tank, I think. Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that I saved. It, it will, uh, it'll stop you from getting hurt by spikes, just in time! <laughs> I know I could rewind, but I, I gotta do something legitimate, you know? Why? It's your own series. I know, so I'll, I'll do it when I want. I'll save when I want to rewind when I want. You can't stop me, you guys are along for the ride. I get to do it my way. That's the way I like to live my life. I will say this room sucks. Yeah, this is this is not a nice room. Like I think the only way to properly avoid those, you know, besides jumping right into them, is when you jump, turn into a morph ball and go underneath them. I think you can stay as a morph ball on those things. Without spring ball? Oh, I don't have spring ball though. But I, I think you can just stay on those lifts as a morph ball and mm. they won't hurt you. But then when you have to move. Then it's a bad time. Either way, you know. I think since uh, Super Metroid, they they uh, refined the map a lot. Because it feels like a lot of this is just difficult for difficulty's sake. And you either have the item here or you, you, you don't. Mm hmm Which kind of makes the whole explore exploration kind of restrictive and all that. You got so lucky. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Give me that energy tank. Give Those me that energy are tank. grapple... Crumble blocks. Uh huh. What a mean trick. No! That's okay, we're good. Ah! Alright, cool. Uh, uh. Damn, you got some air. 
Oh, I'm glad Samus got the high jump boots, aka Air Jordans. I'm kind of liking the, you know, push a button to do high speed. That feels all right. Mm -hmm. Wait, it... go in there. Why aren't you going in there? You will. Yeah. Eventually, but we're not. Where are you going? Go somewhere else. Where are you going? Go somewhere else. It's right there. Somewhere else we're going. Get the thing. You have to go back through Spike Room multiple times. Why not just do it now? Hello? What are you talking about? Well, if you come back, you have to do Spike Room again. Well, I guess I will then. Th why? So we're going somewhere else. No, oh, okay. We do have a lot more to get outside. We where do. those little rocket dudes were. Yeah, we do. I think it's just like another missile tank, but you know what? Missiles. Better than money. Better than Cromer. Grab missiles. Buy sex. Better than sex. <laughs> I mean, Samus, you know, doesn't have any sort of, you know, relationship, certainly. Mm. You know, it's, it's part of her lunar nature, so she's kind of... She, she's kind of... She's kind of... Yeah. Missiles, man. Mm, watching them explode just gets me going. By the way, another interesting thing about this room is if you kill everything and open both doors, you don't have to kill everything again. You can just go through the other door. Idea for a more survival version of Metroid. You, we call it Metroid Dread. We have missiles, yes, mm -hmm. but some of them are in different qualities. Oh, it's already open. It's like, all right, I I uh, got a miss. I uh, have enough to hold twenty missiles right now. Okay. And I've got ten of them from the packs I just got. Mm -hmm. And I picked up five of those missiles. Like I, I picked up five missiles from like enemies and stuff. Okay. But two of those missiles are duds. Two of them are stronger. And one of them, well, one of them is actually pretty good. Interesting. I mean, that would be kind of annoying in the long run. It'd be, ah. it'd be survival, though. And then, I don't, I don't the, know. The, the deeper you go into the complex, or planet or wherever, you get better missiles. Well, then it just becomes a regular Metroid game. It's like, hey, I got further into the game and I got better stuff. Well, that's what a Metroid game is! You, you play the game, you get better stuff, and then you do stuff better. Well, we can already also say that the better missiles are like the super missiles. Okay. Maybe you, d you have, like, refined missiles, and so they're always good. Maybe you have, like, infinite missiles because of your Metroid powers now. Okay, I do like the idea of infinite missiles. Infinite missiles, but they do variant damage. Eh. Inst instead of a set amount, like always, you know, it always does 40 damage. This time, sometimes it does 33, sometimes it does 36, sometimes it does 35. Maybe you get lucky and it does, like, a full 40 damage three in a row. Well, then we become other M. Why, w why would it be other M? Because it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> right on the ship! Dink. Ah, made it! Right on the wing. <laughs> she does a moon drop and breaks off part of the wing. <laughs> oh! God! Uh, damn mm. it! I hope I didn't need that. You know, you should probably park your ship. That can't be good for the battery. Maybe she's just like, oh, maybe we are supposed to beat this in under three hours, because she's like, wait here, hang on, let me just uh, run around a little bit. It won't take long. It's fine. I'll be right back. And then Mom never came back. She said she was going to the store. I like to think that these 100% speed runs are, like, canonically how it goes. <laughs> So that's why the Federation is so, is so pissed her, because she does it so fast. God, so fast! Alright guys, get this. I infested an entire planet with space pirates. Let's see that wench figure it out. You see, for the Federation, it'll take him like weeks to, to solve this shit. Her? But for Sam, yeah, no. Three hours. Yeah. That's it. We getting that missile pack? We getting that missile pack. Yes! Boom! Oh, I like that. You were actually stuck on the graphic. Of, co of course I was, yes. Back when the Super Nintendo, you could actually glitch yourself by messing up graphics. Something about the, the feel of some of these, like, bases I really enjoy. It kind of feels like I'm back in the NES era. And yet, ironically... I am not. The Super NES era. It's like retro-retro. 
like when you play uh, like like when you play those uh, Kirby games and they have the Game Boy level in the Super Nintendo version. Oh, I always love that. Okay, let's go fast. But not too fast, we gotta take care of these things first. Freeze, freeze, freeze. There we go. Alright, and... And... Comes the wind up, up and the... Fuck. Wind up and the fuck. Grab those missiles, Samus. It's time for the wind up and the fuck. Yep. Stop. And go. Zoop. Hey, we did it. A super missile pack. Nice. That wasn't so bad, was it? Or was it? I don't know. Might have been. Clutching a broken arm, but other than that, we're good. Uh, oh, good. More grappling. Good. Uh, more grappling. I love it. I oh, love it so grappling. much. Oh, we love to love see it so more much. grappling. You can, you can ah! tell I'm just mashing ah! the button because I'm so happy that I'm getting to do this. So much grappling. So I just, happy. So happy. Do you think they bought it? Spent. You can't spell grapple beam without fuck me. Or can you? M or maybe. G R F U C K M E A P P L E. Got it. That's great. Go fuck me, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> can I, uh, yeah, can I get a go fuck me, Apple? <laughs> all, all I got are go eat shit grapes. Welcome to the Super Metroid Orchard. Would you like a go fuck me, Apple? <laughs> Uh, Federation canceled this. They was like, no, 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 we're tearing this down. And the gra hate me grapes. <laughs> Adam Malkovich is like, no, we're not, no, we're not no, doing no, this. No. It's like I'm not authorizing this. And even if I did authorize it, I wouldn't want any of this fruit anyway. It is crude and disrespectful. <laughs> you brought up Adam, and for some reason, it just took me to Valentine's Day at the Federation Force. <laughs> For some odd reason, I just saw an image of Samus giving Adam a valentine, and it just has a thumbs up icon inside. He tears it up. I didn't authorize this. Didn't authorize that, I'm sorry. Or maybe Samus is drawing Adam's face in crayon. Her valentine to Adam says, go fuck yourself. And she's like, he's like, approved. Understood. <laughs> I will, in fact, go fuck myself. Because they, they have this, like, ironic thing, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, see, when, when Metroid Fusion says, you know, uh, he, he always called me Lady, but when he did it, it was, like, you know, dignified somewhat. <laughs> which, which, yeah, I, I can get that, you know. No one can call me Lady but him. He he, he can call me Lady because he made, he made it seem dignified and not sarcastic, apparently. I don't know, that's like... They, they didn't really convey that much in Other M, though, gotta, gotta say. And it's like saying, oh yeah, only Adam's allowed to call me fat cow, but you know what? Well, that's, that's not what he's- it's- it's- it's his lady, you know, it is- it is a- it is a term of endearment. It is- it is what you call somebody, like, you know, like Lord or something like that. But, you know, whatever, I'm not gonna sit here and try and uncancel Adam Malkovich. <laughs> See you next time on Super Metroid. Oh, I guess I can call Adam Malkovich my dick.